I really hate perverts. Really? I like them. <laughs> Do you know what you say to him? You can bleep this. <laughs> How is so tongue seductive? Hey everyone, welcome to season two of Taz Birds. <laughs> Can I do that one more time? <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to season two of Taz Birds. <laughs> oh, that's <was> better. <laughs> I'm back with another season of cooking and to introduce you to all my gorgeous friends I've made here in Korea, we're going to share stories, food and culture. I've asked my guests to bring in two mystery ingredients and I've gone to my local e-mart to buy everything else that I think I might need. And we're gonna come up with a recipe on the day, on the spot. So my first guest for season two, you can find her gaming on Twitch. You can find her amazing podcast, A Cup of Laurenade, which is the best podcast in the world as rated by me. She's a skin positive beauty influencer and also my supplier of Yorkshire tea. Please welcome my first guest. Oh no! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. That's fine. That's right. <laughs> oh, congratulations! <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. I did a balloon as well. I'm so honoured to be the first guest for season two. Hopefully, I do a good job and set the standard for everybody else. Well, her husband's a chef, so. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm good at cooking, but. Actually, I've a few tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know a few tricks, hopefully. So I asked you to bring in two mystery ingredients. Mm -hmm. Please show me what you got. Purple cabbage, Purple red cabbage, cabbage, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And some tomatoes. 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 What we need to do then, we need to figure out what to make using the tomatoes and the cabbage as like, not the main ingredients, but incorporate it into something. Cue thinking montage. So we've come up with a recipe, kinda. You said yes. you wanted veggie sausages. Yes, I do miss veggie sausages a lot. Using the tomatoes that you bought in, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna make like a Korean ketchup. Mm -hmm. And with the cabbage you bought in, we're gonna chop, the, chop that up with sweet potato mm -hmm. as the base. And then we're gonna use flour to bind it all together a little bit, coat the outside, fry it off in a little oil, and then Make them into sausage shapes. Ooh, okay. okay. We got this. Let's do it. Okay, so all of our ingredients are laid out here. If we need some more stuff, we can grab it, but I think this is okay for now. What yeah. kind of oil is it? Canola oil? Canola oil, yeah. Oh, you can tell by the colour. Actually, this is olive oil, normal okay, olive oil. Because <laughs> extra virgin olive oil is a bit more green, right? Mm. But this is normal olive oil. Because we're going to do some frying. You don't want to fry an extra virgin because it smokes oh. too easily. Okay. And when it smokes too easily, the food gets burnt. And then you don't taste the olive flavour anymore. It just tastes like char. Okay. Fats. So use normal olive oil or cooking oil or canola oil, rapeseed oil for your frying. And then when you're doing dressings and stuff or you want to mm. taste the extra virgin olive oil and you're not going to cook with it, that's when you use that. What made you choose tomatoes and cabbage to bring in? I'm a lover of fruits and vegetables. Uh huh. So I can't get enough. <laughs> I don't even. I don't even particularly like it to be honest. But uh, you wanted a challenge, right? Because you say you don't really cook much with it. Yeah. I, yeah. I think I've cooked with it like once in my life with stir fry. Really? Kind of thing, so. so Lauren. Yes. How long have yeah. you been in Korea? I've been in Korea on and off since 2016, 17. <gasps> 2016, 17. Did well, you come here as a student? I, I came here as a summer school student in 2016, and then I came back in 2017 as an exchange student. Right. And then I went back to the UK for a year, and then came back here 2019 to study Korean, and then go to grad school, which I dropped out of because it was hell on earth. And then <laughs> now I'm just chilling. Well, well, she's not just chilling. She's also very hard at work. You're a skin positive beauty influencer. Yes. So what do you mean by skin positive? So, I've struggled with acne my entire post-pubescent life since I was like a teenager. No matter what I did or tried, it never cleared up. And I was like using loads of filters on my face and like editing my photos a lot. And then one day I just turned around and I was like, do you know what, enough is enough. And I'm just gonna bare my face on the internet, which I did on YouTube first. And yeah. I was terrified the first time I did it. 
And then you did it, it's though. a bit different on YouTube because I feel like on YouTube people really see like everything. Yeah. Especially when you're a vlogger. Yeah. Um, but then doing it on Instagram when I was making makeup content was really, really scary. Yeah. But then so many people were like, this is so nice and refreshing to see because I'm like it's insecure natural. about my skin. Yeah. And you made me feel so much better about my skin. Oh, like that. that's so nice. Like, okay, I'm going to carry on doing it. So what I want you to do is slice it in half, mm -hmm. grab a spoon yeah. and scoop out the insides. Do you do much cooking at home? I do and I don't. I think I go through phases with cooking. Mm. It depends how busy I am, how motivated I am to cook. But if I do cook, I cook a lot of pasta. Like I make my own homemade sauce. Ooh. And I cook a lot of tomato soup. My tomato soup recipe is pretty good. Do you mean like a British cream of tomato soup? Um. Or like like a more like a brothy Italian soupy herby type. It's more of a soupy herby. Oh. It's like your tomato soup and like cheese toasty kind of vibe. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. So, what's your favorite thing to make? Pada? Maybe like yeah, kimchi kim kim jjigae. Kim yeah. I was on her podcast, a cup of Laurenade, uh, which you have to check out. They're very fun. Uh, so I was on that podcast and we talked about so many things. Mm -hmm. We talked. I talked so much. I'm so sorry. She yeah talks for England like me though. So it was. I'm Welsh. Remember. Oh, flipping it. <laughs> Just up the road from Clan by the push wing, go get a quindrobo, Clan to Cilio, go, go, go. So these onions are going to be for the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to cook the onions first, a little bit of garlic, and get them nice and golden, then add the tomatoes. Because the tomatoes won't take long, we'll just blast them on a high heat. Okay. And then the sweet potatoes, once you've done with those. Amazing job, by the way. So I'm waiting for my going. Let's do the sauce. Okay. You can have this one. So a little bit of oil. Oil. <laughs> so pop the garlic in, let that cook out a little bit so the rawness of it goes out so we have a little bit of a sweet flavour. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to add in half of the onions okay. and then we're going to add in the tomatoes and then let all that cook together and then we're going to add in some gochujang sauce, some salt, a little bit of sugar because you want it to be like a sweet mm -hmm. ketchup kind of flavour. I feel like it's going to be like a little chutney vibe. Yeah, it's more like a chutney vibe than a ketchup vibe. What I'm going to do in this pan, I'm going to cook out the cabbage until the water starts coming out and drying up. I'm gonna take the green onions. I'm gonna pop that in here too. Look how vibrant Ooh, that looks. Green and purple. What a beautiful combination of colors. My eyes are burning right yeah. now. Yeah. My burning. Burning. <laughs> okay, that's looking good. Tomatoes can go in. Come on, tomatoes, in we go. Lovely. So we're gonna wait till the tomatoes break down a little bit, then we're gonna add the sauce in. Okay. The cabbage is almost done. We should tell the viewers that you're married, just in case anyone DMs me and they're like, if she's single, I want to date her. I'm very not single, sorry guys. <laughs> how, how not single are you? Very married. Very married. <laughs> so Sammy, Yeah. he's a chef. He is a chef. He's Korean? He's Korean Moroccan. Korean Moroccan. Yes. What kind of food does he cook? Japanese food. So it's a whole mix of everything. So you're married to a Korean Moroccan who cooks Japanese food? Yeah. I love that. Amazing. Right? I love that. That's yeah. looking good. So that That's just good. needs to like break down a little bit okay. more. I'm gonna put that a little bit higher so it just needs to blister a little bit. Okay. And then if you can pass me the sweet potatoes, please. Okay. And I'm gonna just put in half the mixture. Okay. If you wanna use that spoon and mash it together. Sure. Okay. Oh, and season it with some salt. So if you grab a pinch of salt and mm -hmm. let's see how you do your salt technique. Well, usually I have it in one of these and I just kinda go like in my, like this and go like this, but. Okay. We can blame her if it's really salty now. Oh, oh, that was all on one spot. Okay. Mashed potato, thank you. You sound like you're from the sound of music. Mashed potato. Oh, that was good harmony. You know when we did the ache of the week? We did that so well. Ready? Mashed potatoes. I can't sing. You yeah. Know, when I was in school, I was in my school choir. <laughs> <laughs> but guess what? I was in the baritones with the boys. Oh, yeah. I I've got a mezzo soprano. I don't. I don't particularly have a very feminine female voice. My voice is quite deep, as you can probably tell. Mm -hmm. So I got put in with the boys. The so boys. I just, I just sing the low bits. I was doing all the screechy bits. So. So we would have been enemies. <laughs> what do you mean enemies? Not enemies. Colleagues. Complimentary. Opposite sides. Yeah. Why do I say enemies? So there's a segment on my podcast called Ick of the Week. Do you have an ick this week? <sighs> my ick this week. No, that's weird. That's gen I was just saying perverts, but then that's... <laughs> I really hate perverts. Really? I like them. 
I'm gonna add the gochujang sauce in now, by the way. Um, the reason it's in this bottle is because the original bottle I bought was huge. Oh. So I had to put it in a smaller one. I'm gonna use this to measure it out. So I was on the subway and um, this man, probably in his like, I don't know, 70s or so. I was on the subway for 40 minutes. He did not stop staring at me the whole time. And you know where he was looking? Ah, uh, at your bum? Yeah. It wasn't even on show. I had a long jacket on. So I noticed and I looked at him like, and he looked at me and then he just continued to stare. Do you know what you say to him? You can bleep this. <laughs> <laughs> I really hate it. They just look at everything. Like, leave me alone. Like, what right do you have, sir? What right? Oh, can you please give me some sugar? Hey, okay. some sugar. Oh my God, my neighbor came the other day and he asked for some sugar. And you were like, I was like, oh. <laughs> not tonight, honey. <laughs> I was actually, <laughs> I actually, I actually looked at him and I was like, what I'm what sorry, what and he was like, oh no, I'm, I'm making a banana bread, so I want some oh, sugar. Did he give you some of the banana he bread? He did, yeah. Okay, he's, really nice. so he's actually, um, that neighbor, he's a doctor. Uh, so where I live, there's a like hospital nearby. Mm. So I'm really? thinking about a tablespoon of sugar. Yeah, it's okay. fine. Okay. It's really wholesome. He bakes for his staff at the hospital. Aww. And now and again, he asked me for ingredients because he knows I'll always have stuff. And the way he said it was very like, seductive. <laughs> Do you have any sugar? Like that? It was more Did you say like... in Korean or in English? In Korean. How is so tongue seductive? Try, try to say it in a sexy way, but also he has a very deep voice. Oh, she's so tongue is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works. I'm, I'm very, um, totally turned on right now. <laughs> Stop it, I'm crying. So, uh, we've added the gochujang sauce to this. We're going to add a little bit of water. Uh -huh. So, it is going to become more like a chutney as opposed to a sauce. Mm. Very chunky. And we're just going to add, put that on. You like spicy food? Mm. Okay. Because it's going to be quite spicy, I think. Love spice. And you can smell it as well. Smell that. <laughs> <laughs> Who smells like that? Me. Why? I get all of the flavour in my Yeah, nostrils. but you could have you just went in instead of going... <laughs> mm. Um, mm. Can you add a tablespoon of flour into the potato mixture. Sure. So what we're going to do now is make the patties into sausage shapes. So what you want to do, roll into a sausage like this and then just neaten the edges as you go. And then you're going to pop it into the flour and just roll it around really, really lightly and then you're going to pop it in there. A bit smaller. Don't you like big sausages? <laughs> I love big sausages. Do you like big sausages? Love them. <laughs> as long as they're vegetarian. Speaking of big sausages. Good. Good. Okay, then we just set it aside. Mm. Where are you from in the UK? So I'm from Northwest England, from Merseyside. Merseyside. But I'm from the, basically the part of Merseyside that I'm from used to be in Lancashire. So in the 80s, it was part of Lancashire. And oh. then for some reason, the government decided to put it in Merseyside, even though nobody has a Scouse accent where I'm from. Interesting. Yeah. Time. I'm try I'm going as fast as I can. Faster. <laughs> Faster! Don't put me Faster. on the production line. Where are you from? <laughs> you know what I was gonna ask you. Can you guess? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? When we first met, I couldn't decide if Taz was Brummy, Welsh, or from London. I mean, I have no answer for that. It, I am I am Welsh, born in Wales, born and raised in Wales. My mum's from London. Mm -hmm. I've got lots of relatives in Birmingham. Makes sense. Yeah. But I don't know why the Birmingham comes out. I don't know why. Don't Is it because there's a big South Asian population there? And then for some reason, like telepathy? Yeah. Okay, here we go. What? <laughs> do not do this at home. Do not splash. <laughs> I didn't realize there was that much oil. Okay, so don't Just move don't it. Don't touch yeah, it. Yeah, don't touch it. So once it's gone in, you don't want to keep moving it around because then it's going to... It's split. not going to... Yeah, it's going to split. And we're just going to let it sit. Try to get golden and we're going to rotate it slowly, slowly. It's really hard to not dump them in. I'm that's not going to lie. Okay. They're looking so good. Wow, it's crispy as well. Okay, so let's pop that here. And then what we're going to do yeah. is plate up. Oh, it looks good, actually. You sound so surprised. Why? Do you not, do you not think this is a serious cooking show? <laughs> it's ready. What do you think? It looks good, right? It actually looks so good. It's crispy, it's golden. It smells amazing. Oh, that crisp, I'm so, so crispy. 
<gasps> bro, that's good. <laughs> that's so good. I love how we're both equally surprised. Mm. It's very caramelized mm. chutney. It's really good chutney. That's exactly how it should be. It should be caramelized, sweet. Mm. And then with the sweet potato, you'd think it'd be too much of a sweet flavor, no, but actually, no. the gochujang has a nice amount of spice. Tazba's rating out of five. Four and a half. Four and a half is pretty high. I mean, I should be humbled for. But thank you so much for being my first guest of season two. Thank you for having me. I had so much fun. It was great. It was amazing. And you cooked really well as well. Thank you. You can cook this for Sammy. Yeah. Yay. I think you'll like it. I'll leave all the links you need in the description box below. Yes. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And um, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Mwah. Mwah.